Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the FPA tutorial series. So today what we're going to be doing is adding the smoke grenade. So last episode I said I would be doing it but I figured out that um, basically the thing was too long so I pushed it over to this video and I thought it might just be a good idea to do. So first things first what we're going to do is make a blueprint actor. I'm going to call this smoke underscore grenade and open this up. What we're going to also quickly do is add another folder inside our grenades called smoke underscore grenade underscore assets. And this is where we're going to store our mesh that I've got right here. Now, at this point, you're going to want to grab the smoke grenade mesh that you're using. So I'm going to go into here, uh, into the smoke grenade. I'm going to add a static mesh while I have it selected in the content browser, which is basically just a quicker way of bringing a static mesh in and as you can see my thing is incredibly large so I'm just gonna scale that down to 0 0.1 even if that will help hold on I might just add another zero there there we go that's probably a bit more like it I'm just gonna drag it into the scene does that even help can we even see that yeah that's that's about good next thing we've got to do really quickly is grab in the materials uh, assets so we can put our material together so we've got the base we have the normal here yeah, these are just briefly the important ones we have the ambient occlusion ambient occlusion as it said I think I don't know what this is specular I think and I have no idea what this is but I'm gonna pop that into metallic anyways uh, I'm going to apply and save. And now we have a perfect grenade just like this. So now moving on to the code, I'm going to go into my frag grenade just here. I'm going to copy and paste what I've just uh, written last episode. So I'm going to put that in begin play right here. And I'm just going to drag that in and replace the reference just like so. so I'm going to quickly activate simulate physics, turn that to true because Yet again, we are using physics uh, in this to make it fly through the air. Then what we're going to do is using the thing we've just got or whatever this is, we're going to get get component velocity. And here is why. In Counter-Strike, for example, the smoke will only land usually until it is la it has been in the floor or a timer has been set. So... So we're going to constantly ask ourselves, has our component velocity reached zero? And then it will spawn the smoke. So I'm going to get an equals, so an equal vector, or actually I'll tell you what, an exactly equal vector, because we, we want to wait until it's absolutely not moving. And we can debug this by just printing uh, this on a tick. So I'm just going to really get tick. Uh, I'm going to grab a print, print string. I'm going to drag that just down here. Uh, and after this, if it's true, we want to spawn emitter at location. And we're just going to, for the moment, just use the smoke. Uh, now I'm probably just going to edit uh, the density of the smoke later on, but I can show you how to do that. So we're going to add a scene as well. I'm going to call this grenade center and I'm going to quickly just uh, get world location and also get world rotation because we don't really want to spawn the smoke just like upside down uh, or up in the air. So this should help hopefully counter that. And then we're going to put a delay down uh, of four seconds. And after that four seconds, we are going to deactivate the particle effect system. And then we're also just going to destroy actor, just like so. And after this, we can save and compile. And we're going to hop over to our SWAT character and add a key binding to um, throw the smoke. So it's gonna quickly add another one. I'm gonna call this smoke grenade. 
and this is going to be assigned to the key of G, so like that. I'm going to quickly, I'm going to grab um, smoke grenade. Basically, just going to do the same thing here, just like we did, like so. And then I'm just going to grab all of this. So it's basically like what we did last episode, uh, except the code for the smoke grenade is a little bit different. And then I'm just going to grab this down here again, just like so. And I quickly make sure that this target actor here is then placed to the uh, weapon equipped over here because that will help you avoid any bugs that you may come across. So now when we click play, we press G, we're throwing it, sorry, my bad, G, does it not support, oh, sorry guys, I forgot to change this bit here, so this needs to be set to the smoke for grenade, so compile, save, press G, I'm going to be throwing it, as you can see, the velocity of the object has now reached zero, and then all it should do is let off a nice smoke effect. Now I can't see where it is probably because the smoke effect is incredibly small. So we're just gonna scale it up over here. I'm just gonna set the scale to five like so. Just gonna also quickly press play. We're gonna just throw the grenade up in the air. smoke. Oh God, it's really gone far. I think I realize why. So we're gonna go to the static mesh, simulate mass KG. I'm just do that to zero point five because that helps to um, enact gravity on it to make sure it doesn't go like insanely far. So like so, it's landed there, it, it waits and it disappears. I wonder why, oh, I see what's gone wrong. We forgot to add a delay here as well, which basically serves as a loop. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna press play, press G, basically waiting until it has reached zero and it should spawn the smoke, but I think that went inside the walls. So I'm just gonna, okay, so I'm gonna compile and save. I'm gonna quickly go over to here and make this five. I'm gonna quickly up the delay here to eight seconds to probably help with the smoke spawn. There we go, look at that. We now have our smoke. Gotta to remember to add that eight seconds to the delay. Now you're probably wondering that that smoke was actually quite small and it was quite thin, uh, and we're gonna change that. So over here in the set content, I'm gonna go smoke, and I'm gonna quickly click on P underscore smoke. Under spawn rate distribution, you're gonna find the thing here called constant, and I'm gonna turn this up to 20. Now these are particle effects which are known to usually kind of rip through um, PCs that aren't too great. So be careful when turning up your content that you don't accidentally um, make your PC draw way too many um, particles than needed. So as you can see, the smoke's quite nice, but I'm not sure where, why it's spawning over there. So I'm gonna quickly, so I'm gonna quickly attach grenade center to your, uh, or my mesh. Add file, save all real quick. Um, I'm gonna throw that down. It's time. I don't know where it's gone. It's gone over there. And now, as you can see, the smoke has completely obscured everything and it only lasts for a few seconds. So there we go, guys. That is how you implement a smoke grenade into your game. Now, be sure to watch the episode where I integrated the frag grenade because that's basically... Um, how I set up everything else like the animations otherwise you have to do that by yourself But I highly suggest you go and watch that uh, just to get baseline if you haven't already Thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy don't forget to slap a like and subscribe if you like the content and don't forget to share to a Friend, you know, you never know they might be having this kind of issue or want to implement something like this into their game Yet again guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye